Grouping is a method of factoring that we can use with expressions that have an even number of terms, usually four or six terms. We would like to factor this with common factor, but there is no common factor of these four terms. What we can do though is we can break them into two groups of two, and if each group of two has a common factor, we might be able to do the grouping technique. If I look at the first two terms here, they have a common factor of A. So I can factor out an A, and I end up with 3x plus 1. Over here, the last two terms have a common factor of either negative 2b or positive 2b. If I factor out a minus 2b, what I will get inside the bracket will be the same as what I got over here, 3x plus 1. Minus 6bx divided by negative 2b is positive 3x. Minus 2b divided by negative 2b is equal to positive 1. It is an important step in grouping that what shows up inside the bracket has to be the same. Because that allows us to say since both a and minus 2b are being multiplied by the same thing, we can write a minus 2b into a binomial, and that binomial will be multiplied by 3x plus 1. Remember, we only write the 3x plus 1 once. What this means is a times 3x plus 1 minus 2b times 3x plus 1, and that's the same thing we have here. This is how grouping works. If you can break your expression into equal sized groups, take a common factor out of each of the equal sized groups, and have what remains be the same, then you can rewrite the answer this way, and you have successfully factored using the grouping technique. Here's another example of grouping, but this time we have six terms. I'm going to try to break these into two groups of three. If I look at the first three terms, I can see they have a common factor of x. So I'm going to factor out an x. ax divided by x is a, minus 2bx divided by x is minus 2b, minus 3x divided by x is minus 3. Now, what can I factor out of the second group of three that would result in a bracket that has the same terms in it? it will be positive y. ay divided by y is a, minus 2by divided by y is minus 2b, minus 3y divided by y is minus 3. I can rewrite this expression as x plus y, a minus 2b minus 3, using the distributive property. This is a six-term grouping. When we have a six-term grouping, it can be done this way where we broke it into two groups of three. But if I reorder the terms, I could also do this grouping with three groups of two, and I'm going to prove that right now. I'm going to write my ax plus ay together. I'll write my minus 2bx and my minus 2by together. and I'll write my minus 3x and minus 3y together. Looking at just the first group of two terms, they have a common factor of a, and if I factor out that a, I'm left with x plus y. The second group of two terms have a common factor of minus 2b, and if I factor that out, I will get x plus y inside the bracket. Be careful, both of these are negatives, so when they're divided by something negative, they will give positives. The third group of two terms have minus 3 as the common factor, so I write minus 3, and again, I get x plus y in the bracket. If I want to use the distributive property to rewrite my answer with these three terms together, I get a minus 2b minus 3 in one bracket, and x plus y written only once in the other bracket. Notice how if I break it into two groups of three, I end up with the x plus y first. And if I break it into three groups of two, I ended up with the x plus y coming last. But that doesn't matter. These two answers are the same. 
So there's two different ways of doing a six-term grouping. 